hi my name is Lalit and in this video I am going to show you how uh, we can uh, configure uh, web ESP.NET API uh, routing and uh, what are the possible variations uh, when we try uh, different type of routes uh, with uh, ESP.NET uh, web API uh, uh, CRUD operations so here uh, again i have uh, my web api projects and uh, other required projects um, few things which uh, we are going to try out here are like uh, using a method uh, starting with uh, get in with all all the get put uh, uh, post and delete uh, operations and uh, then using uh, http get and then using accept verbs so attribute and then using action name attribute and also trying no action attribute so these are the five uh, possible uh, variations that uh, we can have with um, with a particular operation or uh, you can say uh, a method inside uh, a web api so <coughs> Just to try all of these, uh, we, we would uh, we would go through the code. We would, we will do some amount of debugging, and also we'll try to run the service using all these different variations. Okay, uh, before we actually start uh, running the application, uh, I would like to show you uh, where uh, routing is uh, defined and routing table is set in uh, ASP.NET Web API. If you are a, a MVC uh, developer, then you must be knowing all this uh, already. But uh, if no, then uh, I'll, I'll show you where uh, it is defined. We can go to uh, global.asx.cs. So here you can see Web API configuration is uh, being registered. So this Web API config class is uh, the place where uh, we are going to have our API uh, routing uh, table defined. So you can see here, this is where our routes are defined. So for this particular uh, web API, uh, the routes are defined like default uh, API, which and uh, the name of the API, and then we have this root template. So root template is starting uh, from API slash controller name slash parameter value. Parameter is uh, optional out here, so you can call this uh, web API by providing this uh, URI Say API slash controller name right after the web API application name Okay, so this is how uh, the routing is defined in uh, a web API uh, project now let's go to our um, web API controller and uh, try all the possible variations which are uh, there so first of all uh, with this uh, web api controller i'm going to try a different method name this method name is starting with get so uh, and then uh, when we will run this uh, api so we would like to see uh, whether this method is you getting hit or not so let's change the method name earlier i had this uh, get method name as get only but now i'm changing it to get all uh, persons so i change it to get all persons so the idea here is to show you that um, you you can you can have a method name uh, for get method uh, having anything but just start uh, at the starting uh, you need to put get so let's run this uh, api and see if uh, this method is getting hit or not with a uh, different name so it's running now you can see uh, since get uh, keyword is placed uh, right before this method name so api is uh, uh, is figuring out that this is the get, get method that have been called so this is how basically uh, 
uh, web api do probing when it, it goes for uh, calling of uh, its uh, its uh, uh, crud operations so here we can see uh, that uh, uh, a method name having uh, just get right before it is being hit now we can see the data out here uh, now let's try uh, the other variation the other variation is we can use uh, uh, attribute called http get and uh, and a method name which is not starting with uh, get keyword so i'll use this method name find persons and i will decorate this method with uh, http get okay now let's build the application and then we will run it and we then we will see whether this method name is getting hit on we'll go here hit the api and see if the control is coming over here or not yes it is come you can see here so by decorating this uh, method with uh, http get attribute and having a different uh, method name the method is being called now you can see the data is come up in here now the next uh, variation is uh, using uh, accept verbs uh, so uh, now i'm going to decorate the method with uh, this attribute and uh, uh, using the same method name which is not starting with uh, cat uh, uh, keyword so i'll uh, decorate my service name and service uh, method name with uh, this keyword accept verb cat hat and i'm having a method name which is not starting with cat now let's see uh, if uh, this uh, one gets hit or not so here uh, let's hit the api now let's see if it is coming here yeah it's come you can see here so in this case also it is hitting the api although it is having a different uh, method name and uh, getting decorated with accept works attribute you can see here the data is coming now we have another variation which says that uh, you can use http get plus you can put a action name attribute so we will have this time two attributes and a different method name which is not having get keyword so let's try this here uh, i have uh, decorated this uh, uh, method with uh, these two uh, attributes action name and uh, http get and let's change the method name find uh, all persons okay this method name is uh, not having get keyword uh, at the beginning but it is being decorated with these two attributes so now let's see how this api is uh, is uh, getting hit now we'll hit the api but here uh, since uh, the, the see it is it's getting hit but uh, but the thing is in this case when we are using uh, this uh, action at action name then after uh, this uh, person uh, or basically controller name we need to provide the action name also so i'm doing it now you can see this uh, control is come out here and data is displayed so when we are using uh, this uh, attribute uh, action name in this case the web api url will change a bit earlier we were calling only this part but when we are using action name attribute we need to provide the action name also right after controller name so this is person is our controller name 
and person list is the action name okay this is how it is and then we have another vari variation which says no action this attribute we can use uh, in a case when we want to prevent this method being hit by any action so for that uh, we have this attribute now i'm decorating this uh, service method with uh, no action attribute that means i don't want any action in my web api application to call this method so now let's uh, run the api and see if we can uh, hit this now you see there's a message out here the requested resource does not support http method get because we have decorated this method get method of the api with the no action attribute so this was how uh, we we can apply all these variations with uh, all our four web api operations which are get post put and delete all these variations can be applied to all these methods so thank you very much uh